Colossians 2, verse 4. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. What's he talking about? He has just talked about this mystery. And this mystery is not a mystery that is hidden, but it's a mystery that has been revealed. And this mystery that has been revealed is Jesus. All right? And so now there's no need to look for some sort of secret hidden knowledge, which is really common in this time period when there was a rise of something called Gnosticism. And Gnosticism was saying that salvation comes through this knowledge, this hidden knowledge. But now we understand that that hidden knowledge has been revealed in Jesus. And so because it's been revealed in Jesus, they have full assurance. And so if they have this assurance, he's now telling them, you have this assurance so that I'm saying this. Why am I telling you this? I'm saying this in order that no one may delude, no one may deceive you with plausible arguments. And it looks like he is, he's trying to prepare them for the fact that there are heresies in the church. A heresy is a false teaching. There are false teachings in the church, and he's not, he doesn't find it necessary to label them or attack each one of them head on. Instead, what he wants to do is he wants to fix heresies. He wants to replace heresies with the truth. And the truth is, is that we have been united with Jesus. And in Jesus are all of the hidden treasuries of wisdom and and knowledge so that we can have assurance. And if we have that assurance, then we can stand up against the arguments that are, that, uh, that are vying for our attention. And then that way, if we are grounded in the truth, we will not be deceived or taken away from Christ.